Hey all, Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai. So the other day I was out at one of the big box stores. Oh man. And I picked myself up a dwarf Alberta spruce after watching everybody play with them lately. I've been tempted to get one. And after my last experience, I went ahead and I picked one up here that has a little twin trunk that's coming out down here. And it actually even has a second one up way higher that I'm probably not gonna work with. Hold on, I didn't get you any good shot of that. There's the second one right there. The first one is gonna be down low. So that's gonna be the one I work with. I'm actually gonna use the second one up here for the taper to break out that way. Um, so I'm gonna do this video in two parts. Part one, I'm gonna get it out of this red pot that it's in right here because I don't want to cut it and damage it, but I definitely want to expose the top sets of roots. So I'm going to get it out of that pot, put it in a different pot, not really do any root work. I'm literally just putting it in a pot that I don't mind cutting. So basically just a plastic nursery planter. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Check out the roots, see what's going on with it, and well, let's get to it. All right, so I don't really have you up high because we're focused more in this region from right here today. Well, for this part of the video, um, I found this little black nursery pot right here, threw a little cocoa bark in the bottom. So we're gonna go with that. So for now, all I'm gonna do is put this underneath it, pick this up, dump it. And my goal here is to try and save what's on the top so that I can use it for the bottom of this. Help this fill in everywhere. Um, so for now we're just working this just a little bit here. Getting that top layer off. Just see what we have to work with. So I'm going to set it back over there in the red pot and just sweep the rest of the soil into this planter. I don't mind reusing this soil because well, I'm not actually doing a full repot, so I just want to get it into its new pot here, which is great, except I didn't think through the fact that I need to fill the sides in more. So I'm going to set it right here beside me. I'm going to take everything I just put in there and throw it back into the red bucket here. Now we got that there. We'll set our little tree back in here. Let's see. So now, just gonna stab in right around here and just begin a nice little cut. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll do what it's supposed to be doing. And that is, getting us a better view of the root system. So now we got that. I couldn't figure out why they weren't cutting, but they had to actually overlap each other the wrong way. So, they didn't want to cut that, so I'll just use some wire cutters here. Now we cleared that out of the way. So from here, we can see down in, we're just gonna take and actually just fill in the sides here. Um, while we're at it, maybe we should figure out how we wanna do this. I think I almost want it a little bit at that angle right here. So, since I'm at it, I'm going to take and just kind of push that down in there a little bit and just fill in around the sides. I know this probably isn't the most interesting video. You got to see everybody else wire them all up and everything, but 
This is just the first step of it all. Just trying to get everything sorted out and placed in here. And I feel like every step's important. The little steps are just as important as when you're going through and doing some of the bigger stuff like wiring and all that. So we should, we should definitely keep an eye on everything we're doing to make sure that it's all good. So I'm just working the soil down in there because I don't want any air pockets. I'm just gonna continue to push it on in here. So I'm pretty sure you grasped the idea of what's going on here. So I'm going to finish filling this around the edges and I'll get back with you on the next part. All right, so as you see, I changed my mind again. I was getting everything in there and then I was like, you know, I really wanna know where my uh, where my nabari is gonna start at. So I wanna get down to those roots first. I'm gonna take off some of these lower branches right here. Um, I won't ever use them for anything, so. We're just gonna work on cleaning this up and we'll trim some of these lower branches as we're going. So we're just gonna work the soil out ever so lightly here. And as I'm going, I'm finding more and more branches. So I can tell they definitely um, potted this thing into the soil nice and deep for me. So that is a great, a great pleasure for me to sit here and rake this all out. And I'm gonna get in here and I already found another branch that I'm gonna to have to get out. And I'm just gonna to continue to pull this little guy outward as I'm coming around here. And some of this stuff is just deep, deep. It's deep, deep and it has uh, very little <laughs> roots near the trunk. All the roots hit the wall and then started growing back upwards. So we're just gonna try to get some of this down so that we can work with this a little bit better because some of these top roots are not going to work for what I'm trying to do here. They're actually coming, if, you, if you're looking, the roots are growing up really high on this side and then there's like nothing on this side. So that's not promising as it is. Well, for this being an easy task, it's not promising. The fact that the root system looks so good is amazing. So I may be doing a little bit more root work than what was intended here. Just so that I can get this loosened up a little bit. So now we're finding our way in here just a little bit better. Then there's certain little roots that are just running in multiple directions here. So we're just gonna have to try to figure out everywhere in which they are running because some of these little guys are basically, well, not basically, they are what's holding up most of this soil. And I thought that this thing was gonna be pretty damp on the inside and it's definitely not. This whole thing is just very, very dry. So I'm just gonna continue working the roots here. So once I get this all combed out, I'll bring you back again. All right, so as we can see, I've gotten down there quite a way. Um, that's a decent amount of soil that I've removed about an inch and a half, two inches. And I've only run into one big root so far, which is going to be right over here, right below this branch that I'm gonna take off. So I think I'm just gonna take off this branch and the root all at the same time. Well, not in one cut, but I'm just gonna get rid of both of those two now. So there's one. And there's two. So nothing major, just obviously that's maybe like 0.1% of the entire root system. So I'm not super worried about that. Um, but I'm not gonna dig down any further into the roots. I can see come spring, I'm gonna have quite the opportunity to just go through 
and clean up this entire mess right here because the main root system is definitely going to be way lower than what I was anticipating. So all I'm going to do now is just go through and do a little bit of cleanup throughout the tree, get rid of some of these branches that are dead, and then for part two is when we're going to get into wiring the tree a little bit more. So let me get you set up here and then we'll get back to it. Sorry about all that movement there. So I also do not want this branch. The trunk has got some great movement as it is, so I'm just gonna get rid of this branch right here. Um, this branch is coming out and actually crossing over everything. So I'm gonna have to get in here and get that one out. Then there's actually another little one in there. And still some soil that I didn't get out. So we're gonna have to get rid of that guy. And we're gonna get rid of this little guy. That little guy. So get rid of all those. Now we're gonna come up and inside here. And For the most part, I'm gonna get rid of one little one right here that's coming across. And I'm gonna get rid of this little one right in there that was coming out. Let's try to clean up some of those needles a little. So I've got these two which are sitting almost right on top of each other that I'm gonna to have to figure out. As well as on the back side right here I have one, two, and I was debating, but now that I see that this one's almost crossing right inside there, I'm going to have to take that one that's crossing in. Then Shy Guy's outside the door talking to me again. All right. So I'm gonna have to figure something out here because I can't get in here with my concave cutters to get that little nub. So I have to get that cleaned up somehow. Better than what I had it. I feel like that's a lot better than what I had it. All right. So we do have some more growing inwards that we'll probably take care of when we go in for wiring. And then for now, this is going to be a twin trunk. I'm going to take this one up one way. And then I have to figure out which one of these I want to take up. And I think I'm leaning more towards this one because I feel like that's just too thin. This one's going up. It's big, big, and then starting to shrink down gradually as it's growing up and goes all the way up. This one goes big big coming up here a lot smaller a ton of branches I'm gonna have to cut off anyway and then we taper off into a, a whole mess up there all right so for to end part one I'm gonna end up coming in and just cutting off this little piece right here so Let's get into it here. Let me find a good angle for you here. So I'm gonna come in, split the tree. Start with a little cut here. And I'm just gonna take off that whole top chunk. So he took off its own little tree right here. Um, now that we have that off, we'll have to come back in here and clean it up a little bit better. So we'll take it down just a little bit further here. Oh no, I almost took you down a little bit further there. All right. So there's a little bit, and then it kind of chunked up right there. 
Now we're going to jump in here with some concave cutters because we need to get this cleaned up a little bit better here. I think I'm just going to take it in little bites. I was going to do a big bite, but I don't want it to slide and go somewhere I don't want it to, so little bites it is. And I'm sure this will take a while to heal over when I'm done. And then I just love the stickiness. The stickiness is my favorite. So we just gotta... That's so hard, because it seems like you get it, and then you look back and you're like, no, that's not exactly what I'm looking for here. Let's take another one. All right. Let me get low and take a look here. So for now, I think I'm pretty good with that. I am gonna end up coming back and taking out, trying to take out some of this inverse taper later. I don't wanna do all that today, so. That's something I'll I'll work on later. Trying to trying to get it from here up into there. But for now, I believe that I'm going to go with this as my front view. So I know that cuts like right there in the front of it all, but it doesn't look as scarred up on this side as the other side from the other damage. But then I have this scar down here. Now that's on both sides too. Um, I don't know. Maybe from here, and when I get into the wiring part, I can take this side out a little bit and up. I think I like that. All right, so this wraps up part one of this video. So when we get into part two, after I get these roots wetted and have time to get to the wiring and everything, that's when we'll get it all wired up and start getting it into shape for what we want it to grow into. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up. Um, I'd appreciate it if you could share my videos because if you share them, it helps me get more views, which helps me with my channel greatly. And if you subscribe, that also helps me out tremendously. So um, please like and subscribe and share. And if you really enjoy my videos, hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.